While new restaurants have struggled in uptown Minneapolis, one continues to thrive. Libertine balances a party vibe on the rooftop and an extremely high quality food downstairs. That's where this morning Derusha eats with chef Stefan Hesse. Amidst the hustle and energy of uptown Minneapolis, hey, for a little bit over here, there is quiet and focus. I've always learned just to put your head down and keep cooking and keep doing what you do. Libertine opened in July of 2014, a gastropub feel with a focus on unusual and underused cuts of meat like the bacon chop and the feather steak or the point steak. They create 50 pounds a week of different sausages like this cheddar broth. We'll smoke it in there and I smoke the cheddar in house. Jeff got his start as a kid working at his mom's Perkins. I went in one day and asked to get some money for a pair of shoes and she told me to show up Saturday morning at 7. I thought I was coming to get cash, and instead of she gave me an apron, and I started doing dishes. He learned to crank out pancakes and omelets. Speed and high volume is something he used at Stella's. Masu Sushi in Minneapolis, and now at Liberty. You have to turn it over pretty fast here. You get busy. Oh, yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll do a 1,000 covers on a Saturday, so... You know, we try to we try to get it up and out and as best as we can and as quick as we can. Libertine has survived while other uptown restaurants have recently failed. Cena across the street lasted just six months. So did neighboring Perella. I think some people feel like oh, all that will work here is like the bro type bar. Yeah, I'm, well, I don't know. I mean, I think there's a spot for that for everyone. Libertine caters to that party crowd on their stunning rooftop. Happy hour two for the largely young neighborhood. This is kind of like a. A play on a Caesar dressing without the anchovies. But dinner so is a destination kind of for food lovers who want something it. extra. Taking an old classic like a Caesar and kind of reinventing yeah. it a little bit, and that's kind of what we do around right. here, I guess. Taking right. some old classics and doing a little style, new style with them. The radicchio salad has caramelized bacon, half poached eggs, and a hint of funky fish sauce. That's good. What's not to like? Avocado salad skips the lettuce and lets you really focus on the crab, the peppers, and citrus. And we sell a ton of them. It's a long way from his childhood Perkins. We're rocking out. Cool. Yeah. Jason DeRussia, WCCO 4 News. The Uptown Art Fair is this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Just wander down the street to Calhoun Square and pop into Libertine. Jason says on weekends they have a great brunch that starts at 10 in the morning. And Kylie, both of you, we both of us have been there before, yeah. and we were there for a birthday party. And the rooftop is great, and the food is good too. It's really good. Mm. I think the drinks might be my favorite, though. Each one is just really unique, which is huh. fun to see. Yeah, I've only been I've been to the space. It mm -hmm. used to be Uptown Cafeteria, and that yeah. was one of the first places I went uh, when we moved to Minneapolis. And the spot's gorgeous, but mm -hmm. the food's supposed to be amazing at Liberty. You got to go too. back now. Yeah, but it's an uptown. Oh, you <laughs> so don't have to park. Hard to park. <laughs> hard to park. <laughs> hard to park. <laughs> Early